To me, breakfast is incomplete without some breakfast potatoes. So today, since we're on lockdown, I'm gonna make an awesome potato hash, home fry kind of thing with stuff laying around, including this pork butt I smoked last night. So as I said, I got lots of potatoes on hand. I've got some vegetables that are getting old. I have some more groceries on the way. So I need to get through some things. And last night I smoked this pork butt. If you wanna see how I made it, you can go over to my Instagram. It'll be in a highlight. Or you can watch my brisket video. And the way I smoke the brisket is more or less the same principles apply to smoking this. If you follow that, kind of playbook, you can make this for sure. And the idea behind making big roasts like this that kind of can pull apart, that are made of tough cuts of meat, is that they can feed multiple meals a day. So maybe tonight I could have another pulled pork sandwich and today I can make pulled pork hash, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So besides the pork, we've got a few potatoes. Again, these are small, so I'm gonna use five. I've got a bell pepper, which is sort of getting wrinkly and I need to use it. It's softening up. I've got some garlic cloves, of course, and an onion. And I'm gonna dice the potatoes into a relatively small dice. If you really wanna make these the best, crispiest way, you would blanch them beforehand until they're kind of soft, cool them, and then throw these in the pan and that'll get that kind of contrast of texture between the crispy outside in the soft interior. I'm not gonna do that today. Today, I've always found great success by just dicing up potatoes small enough so that they all cook evenly and then just throwing it in a pan and letting it go. And in stage is adding different elements of the vegetables so that by the end of it, everything is nicely brown and it all comes together. I've also got some rendered bacon fat, which I'm gonna cook everything in, maybe with a little bit of oil. And then I need a little bit of acidity and spice and heat. So of course we got my friend's Calabrian chilies. That's it. What I'm just gonna do now is dice things up and just follow along as I kind of prep the ingredients and then we can go over the stove and make this thing happen. You see a little dark spot like that? Just cut it out. Also this green stuff, you can remove it. It's never really bothered me though, so I really don't do that often. So here are all the ingredients and you know, this is very rough. You can throw whatever you want in here. I've thrown Brussels sprouts in here before. I've sliced Brussels sprouts up, fried them in oil and then topped them into here and it's amazing. I usually would use jalapenos but I don't have any so I use Calabrian chilies and that's gonna add also some acidity and some spice that's nice. I have bacon fat so instead of cooking bacon first and then cooking the potatoes and the fat, I can just use that. And then some garlic, some peppers, onions, you make it what you can. And uh, today I'll show you the technique. This is all about timing, right? I wanna get the potatoes in first and get those going. They're gonna take the longest. Once those potatoes brown and start to soften and I know they're almost done, they need probably like, you know, five or 10 more minutes, I can add the onions and peppers and get those caramelized 
we want some nice color on those. And then at that point, we can probably add the pork and the garlic and the chilies and then start to marry everything together. And then we're gonna have a delicious hash. You could serve it with eggs. Maybe I will serve it with eggs. I haven't decided. I'm just going with the flow. So let's just jump right into it. So get some of that bacon fat and a little bit of oil in the pan over medium high heat. Wait for the pan to get hot and then add the potatoes. Get the potatoes well seasoned. And if you need to add a little bit oil, add some. You want the pan nice and lubed for this. Now if you're not using a non-stick, the potatoes might stick to the pan. Just like you would a steak, let them stick and then sear and then release. Shake the pan to see if any of them will release and then just try and flip as you can. Once they start to brown and sear on all sides, they shouldn't stick, and then you can add the vegetables. Season the vegetables well. Add a little bit of oil if you need, and then just saute those vegetables until they start to brown. Now add the garlic and the chilies and the pork. Give it a little mix up and then toss that into a 425 degree oven. That time in the oven is gonna dry it out and then just kind of give it a final crisp. There's really no need for an egg. This is like an all-in-one meal right here. Pretty good if you ask me. Are the potatoes like crispy like french fries? No. There's developed flavor. The inside is nice and soft. And for those who are dying for, for a video on how to make pork like that, the weather's getting nice. We'll get there soon. And uh, that's that. Potatoes are so good. Again, if you want to see how I made that pulled pork, go to my Instagram at the Food Freak with two Ks and go to my highlights. And I kind of keep a running list of fun things I'm cooking for myself, not necessarily for this show. So go check that out. Thanks so much to all my patrons. If you want to learn how to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. I appreciate everybody's support. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Stay sane, guys. Hang in there. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.